am I in all this praise? Where am I? How am I living? We belong to many different organizations in this world, and I know that there are some here who belong to different churches, who belong to different spiritual places. And they're wonderful. They are. And the praise that is heaped upon them, that's wonderful too. But you still have to ask yourself, I as an individual, how am I living within that organization? Now what do I deem to be important in my life? What is it that I need right now? What do I need right now? Well, I believe, it is my strongly held opinion, <laughs> that we all need to know about the Christ spirit that lives within us. But you see, that's actually more than my strongly held opinion. That comes from <coughs> Jesus. It was Jesus that said that. The kingdom of heaven is within you. Now you've got to start living that way. This kingdom of heaven is hope and love and peace. That's how we have to be living. And this kingdom of heaven, that's where God lives. The God spirit is in you, giving you all the strength and power that you will ever need. But you have to find it. And how do we find it? The only way that I know <clears throat> excuse me, to find this power is to go with him. I don't know any other way. Because you see, in this world, we have a way of seeking power on the outside of us. Oh, we're always looking for a savior. There's always going to be something that's going to come and save us. We get ourselves into one mess after another, but there's always going to be something. In fact, maybe that's part of our fascination with UFOs. I don't know. Maybe that's part of our fascination with all this intergalactic stuff that we think there's somebody out there and they're going to come and straighten out our mess. I don't think so. See, every time that we are seeking power in the outside, we are denying the divine potential within us. This is where we need to go. So there is a song. And this song is, uh, well, I know some of you know it. It's sung by Catherine Wilson. And she's a favorite of some of us. She's a local person. She's been here, she's sung for us, and I hope she comes again sometime. And she and a man by the name of uh, Michael, um, I'm not forget it. Michael who? Putnam, you're right. <coughs> they wrote this song together. And it's called The Answers Lie Within. The answers are in here. And so I have to paraphrase this song because I, I didn't memorize all the words. <coughs> but she says that she's searched, she's gone to mountains and rivers, and she's gone to teachers and looked in books. She's been through rituals, she's gone in, out in nature, and she's still seeking. She's still wanting to find what is this truth. She says, we live our lives between ignorance and bliss, praying with a prayer that divine wisdom will find us. And our greatest sin, what is sin? Oh, missing the mark, yes, it's an ancient archery term. Yes, missing the mark. Or stuck in negativity or self-inflicted nonsense. Have it however you want. But she says that is our, our greatest fear, is that we will come to know or even dare to believe that God lives within us. 
But she said, one day, I went to look in the mirror, and I looked deep into my eyes, and I had the realization that God was living in me. And the answers are within. So she says, the mountains can't hold it, the teachers don't own it, no singer can sing it, no wind will bring it, no dogma can make it, no ego can fake it, no one can create it for you and me. The answers lie within, my friend. The answers lie within. Beautiful, isn't it? So when Jesus told us that the kingdom of heaven was within, I believe him. I truly do. Because therein lies my power and my strength. Therein lies my comfort, my hope, my peace. Everything that I need is there. So as I was sitting in my office last night, I was kind of looking around, and I found a piece of paper, and on it was written all kinds of things that Joseph Campbell had said, the great mythologist. And he was talking in this little article about the search for the Holy Grail. It's a fascinating search. And he mentioned the uh, knights of King Arthur's court and how they felt that going on this search would be a disgrace if they went as a group. So they had to go as individuals. I love that. Because we do go on this search as individuals. And so he said that we're looking for something that is going to fulfill our lives. And each of us has to go and find that fulfillment in our own unique way. We are trying to live a life that never has been lived before on this earth. And it's our responsibility to live it to the very best that we can. And the very best that we can, what is that? It's to be open enough to let spirit flow through us. But to get back to the Holy Grail. He mentions a little book <clears throat> called St. George and the Dragon. I don't know if anybody's read that book. And I don't know too much about it except that it sounds fascinating. I think I have to read it. But this little synopsis of it is that this dragon is going to help George find the Holy Grail. And so it sends him off on this search, that search, everywhere he's got to go and see if he can find this. And then one day, the dragon hands him a mirror. And he says, look in it. And in this mirror, there is the brilliance of 10,000 sunrises and sunsets. And right in the middle, is an explosion of sunbursts. And right there is the golden chalice, the Holy Grail. And George's body is saturated with light. And a voice comes out of everywhere and says, Thou art that. You, George, are the Holy Grail. You are the truth you've been looking for. Our way shower Jesus said the same thing. You are the truth you've been looking for. The kingdom lives within you. The answers are within. We could call this kingdom by many different names. One of them would be the I am, the great I am, God's name. It's the only name that we really can say and make a personal to ourselves. I am. Connect the highest and the best with the I am. So we call it I am, the kingdom, the holy grail. And it's you and it's me. <coughs> well, my talk is over. And it's up to each one of us, what are we going to take with it from this talk? You can take nothing. You can take something. It's 
all up to you.